Hello fellow cyborgs and welcome to another East of the Bell Jar video. This is a buddy reading project I'm doing with Acacia over at the Chaotic Little Book Corner and today I want to talk to you about The Bell Jar. This is Acacia's favorite book of all time and I was tasked with reading her favorite book and she was tasked with reading mine. Below you will find the announcement video and also the discussion we had on each other's favorite books. Today I wanted to give you my final thoughts and my overall review of The Bell Jar. I do have a reading vlog available if you're interested in hearing my thoughts real time. The Bell Jar is the story of Esther Greenwood. She is a young woman pretty much just out of high school. She's struggling to decide what life she wants to have. She's feeling pressured about the expectations of wifehood and motherhood, but she's also afraid to experiment with alternative lifestyles that might have true consequences. In the midst of this struggle, she has a mental breakdown. This mental breakdown happened way later in the book than I was expecting, which meant about the first half of this book I was mostly confused used about what was happening and why. I also was not immediately drawn to the writing style, which I expected to be really impressed by, considering that Plath is a poet first and foremost, but I haven't really enjoyed Plath's poetry, so I guess it's no surprise that I wasn't super drawn to the writing style here either. My enjoyment of the book definitely picked up more in the latter half. Once the mental breakdown started happening and I thought that the plot had an actual point and direction. But my favorite parts of this book by far are the discussions of your treatment of mental health, the discussions around privilege of mental health and the financial burden of caring for someone with mental health issues on a family can be, and also the discussion that not all psychiatrists treat their patients the same, and you might have to find a psychiatrist that works for you before you can get your true treatment. There were a couple scenes in here that I do need to point out that quite disappointed me, even though I recognize that it's a product of its time. There is one racist and one homophobic scene that I didn't appreciate, don't think added to the story very much, and wish wasn't in here. So overall, I left this book wondering why this is so beloved and so upheld as a classic within the mental health genre, I guess, or subgenre. And I asked Acacia about this and she came to the conclusion that it's probably because this is one of the first to do it so well. Sylvia Plath being a very famous and tragic figure also helps this a bit of being popular. This book also being labeled as a modern classic will also add a lot to its reputation. So at the end, I gave this three out of five stars. I think a lot of this book was me catching up to what it actually was rather than expecting what it was supposed to be in my head. So I do think I will get more out of this upon rereading, but I don't think this will ever be a favorite. Have you ever read your friend's favorite book of all time? What was that experience like for you? Fortunately, Acacia and I are firm enough in our friendship to not break apart because the other one did not enjoy our favorite book, but it was definitely an interesting project. If you have thoughts on the bell jar, please leave them down below. Thank, thank, thank you for watching and until next time, continue to be lovely.